Hey guys, my name is Josh Super. I'm from down here on the Eastern Shore and I like to catch rockfish all year round. Um, what we're going to talk about today is a strategy to troll for rockfish and something to use. It's called a tandem rig and this is what it is. It's two different jig heads with shad on them and two different lines coming out to a three-way swivel. Now this is a finished product. What I'm going to show you is how to make this finished product. Before we get into it, there's two things I want to point out to you that are crucial that you need to know in order to make these the proper way. First, the two jig heads that you choose need to be different sizes. In this example, this is a four and this is a two. One of the cardinal rules is you want twice the weight as the other one. They're going to be swimming in different water columns. You want them at different levels. This next cardinal rule that you're going to need to know is the amount of leader line that you use. The lighter one will have twice the leader line as the heavier one. As you'll see right here, I'm taking two long handfuls, which is about 12 foot, and that's what's attached to the three-way swivel. On the other side is the heavier one. This is about one arm's length, so about six foot. So the second cardinal rule is you want your leader line one side twice as long as the other one. So to bring it together, twice the weight and twice the length. All right, now let's get into it. All right, first let's go over the supplies. What you're gonna need is a three-way swivel, two jig heads, two shads, and some leader line. Oh yeah, you're also gonna need some snippers to cut the leader line. First thing I'm gonna show you how to do is to put a shad onto the jig head. This one's already attached as you'll see. I'm gonna show you how to properly do that. So the key here is you want the shad to swim right. You want a good presentation. So it's vital that you put this in correctly. The first thing I'll do is, on, is a measure about where the hook's gonna come out and I'll make a mark on the top. I don't know if you can see that. There's a mark on the top right there. I'm gonna try to just hold onto that spot. You wanna go in through the nose. I try to keep it pretty tight to the back. Don't loop it too much because you don't want your fish to loop around the hook. It'll, it'll give you a bad presentation. So you try to keep it even, try to keep it right in the middle. Don't let it go to one side or the other. And just keep working your way back there. Again, make sure it stays even. Do not let it go to one side or the other. All right, so we got our heavier one and we got our lighter one. Next step, we're going to tie the leader line onto the jig heads. Now, I'm gonna do the heavier one first. If you guys remember, it's one arm length. So I'll pull this out. So again, my wingspan's about six foot. It's a little over it, so that's why you need the snippers. Snip that off and tie on your heavier one. All right, I fast forwarded it for you. There's the knot. It's a loop knot, by the way, not just a direct knot. The reason I do a loop knot is because it swims better, make better presentation. Again, going back. Now tie that to the other end of the swivel. I'll do this one a little bit quicker. So you got right now your heavier end, 
your heavier jig head with the four ounce on it, tied on to your three-way swivel. Next, pull out the longer leader line. So you want to do two arm lengths this time. One, two. Snap that off. And I guess for the sake of the whole project, I'll show you how to do the loot knot here. There's a bunch of good videos online that you can look them up. Basically just an overhand knot. Come through that. Come through the jig head, come up through the downward side. Wrap it three times. One, two, three. And then just come down through that same knot. There you go. Smaller jig head, longer the leader. So you just want to tie this end to the other end of the swivel. Snip off the extra tag piece. There you go. We've got a tandem rig that you control with in the Chesapeake Bay and all the surrounding areas and catch rockfish. I catch these on these. You don't have to spend a lot of money at the store. You just make them yourself and it works. All right, well, that's it. That's how you tie a tandem rig. The, again, the two cardinal rules, uh, twice the weight in the jig heads, so four to two. You can go up to 10, do a 10 and a five, um, and twice the leader line. This leader line I was using this example was 50 pounds. Uh, you can go up to about 80 pound test if you're using like really heavy stuff, or you can stay down and do about 40 pound test if you're going lighter. This is a pretty medium size right here. But just remember those two cardinal rules and good luck fishing. Thank you.